Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. And in today's video, I will be doing my everyday makeup routine, which is um, this. <laughs> um, it's something special, quick and easy, and so let's just hop in right to the video. Okay, the first thing I do is I put on this uh, headband to pull my hair back and out of my face. I'm using this Lululemon one that I got a while back just to keep my hair out of my face so I don't have to deal with it. Okay, once I look like a egg, I then take, um, I got this sample. It's actually um, an egg cosmetics confidence in, in a cream. It's a sample, um, I got it from my mom. The one I usually use is a Laura Mercier one and I ran out of it and I'm like going to get it. So I'm using this one for now until I run out of this and then I have to get the other one. But I really do like it a lot. But all I do is I just put it on, rub it in my fingers, and put it on my face. If I am looking down a lot, I have a mirror right here, just so I can see what I'm doing and such. Okay, after I put on my moisturizer, I then use the um, Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in dark brown to fill in my brows. I do my eyebrows first because the moisturizer is really tacky and I try to let it set a little bit more because I'm not wearing a full face and I usually don't wear a full face during the summer unless I'm going to a party or some sort of event. Once I have completed my eyebrows and the moisturizer has dried down a little more, I then take my Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer in the shade Light to put some concealer on my under eyes and to put some on top of my forehead and if my cheeks are a little extra red that day because I do have really rosy treat, rosy cheeks. Um, it is not rosacea or anything. The doctors just literally, I said I have rosy cheeks because I've gone to a dermatologist trying to figure it out. My cheeks are just naturally really rosy, which they're not today because it's raining outside, but whenever it's hot during the summer, they are bright red. So I put concealer on them just to cover them up a little bit. I then take my Jeffree Star um, and Morphe Collab Beauty Blender to blend it into my face. I also do take it up to my lid to cover the veins on my eyes. Then I take whatever is left on the sponge from my under eyes and do the lower half of my face. Now I go in with the shape tip again and just take a small bit and put it right here. Take my beauty blender again. Once I have completed blending it all into my face, I then take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and this IT Cosmetics brush that is a foundation brush, but I love applying my translucent powder with it. So I take this brush. I'm running low on translucent powder. I have another one, but I'm gonna get everything I can out of this one. I pour it into the cap. Put it on my brush and just apply it to my wherever I applied the concealer. Once I have completed setting my under eye, I then take the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit and apply that to my top lashes and my lower lashes.
Once I have applied um, the top lash mascara, I then take this um, their real little sample. It is empty, but I use it just to make sure that my eyelashes are not clumped together or anything. Now I'm going to apply the mascara to my lower lashes. After I've applied my lower lash mascara, I then take this Aquaphor Lip Repair um, Chapstick. It is a, the best chapstick. I recommend it. Um, I always have one in whatever bag I'm using. I have one in my purse, in my truck, in my, or used to have one in my backpack. I always have one with me at all times because it's great. So I put this on and it's clear so it's like I'm wearing a lip gloss, but it, I don't know, just adds something. Once I have applied the um, chapstick, I then take off my headband. And if my hair is natural like this, I'll flip it over to one side to give it more of like a voluminous look, I guess, because my hair isn't straight or curly naturally. It kind of just does a nice little wave thing. And not even kind of nice, it's a little frizzy. But it's raining outside, so I'm not gonna bother to fix my hair that nice, so. This is my everyday makeup routine. Nothing special, quick and easy. It takes me 10 minutes, sometimes five if I'm in a rush. It's great, looks like I'm not wearing makeup most of the time, so yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to um, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm planning, my schedule will be every Friday, I'm thinking. So I have the weekend to film and then the week to edit is the way I'm thinking. And then once I get a little more of the hang of um, editing, I will be posting um, twice a week. Yeah, well, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.